Hello and welcome back to our advanced final cutting guide. So, in the last guide, we made some simple text and simple vector shapes and we sent them to our cutter. Now we know how to prepare and send a job. Let's look at some of the other things that we can do. So, firstly, in Flexi you can make vectors. You can also import any vector files that you already have. Common formats for these will be EPS or PDF files, but Flexi can also read files from Illustrator, Photoshop, many other sources. So in this case, we're going to import a simple vector beaver. There we go. Now, as it's a vector, it's already ready to cut. We see when we open up the cut plot window, it's identified the shapes and the outlines. And if we send this to our cutter, it's going to cut perfectly. But let's take a little look at what you can do in Flexi if someone sends you a bitmap. So I'm going to import a bitmap that my customer has sent to me that he wants me to cut this out of vinyl for him. So here we have our simple bitmap. If I try to cut this in the cut plot window, it's going to tell me that there's no cuttable object within the current setting because there would only be a square as every pixel is populated. Luckily we have a tool for this. So if I select my bitmap and then I go to bitmap, vectorize and select auto trace, I'm then going to simply drag over my bitmap and now if I move the bitmap away the auto trace has traced the lines around the outside and the inside. The auto trace works best if there's a big color difference so it's perfect for black and white colors like this however it will work for other contrasting colors. Now if I try and cut my traced object, it's going to let me cut it and my customer will be very pleased with the result. Now what can I do if my customer sends me an image with colours in and lots of them? We have a solution for that as well. So I'm going to import here Indian TIFF. We see this file has lots of bold colours but there's about seven or eight of them. So if I use my auto trace, it's only going to pick up the one color. In this case, we're going to use our color tracing option. Now the important thing to remember when using this is you have to set the number of colors that will be recognized. So in this case, there's about 10 colors there. So I'm going to select 10 and then just click and drag over my file. There we are. Now, in this case, you can actually press shift to toggle whether a color is traced or not. So if I hold shift and click on this uh, beige color here, my background will show and then disappear. In this case, we didn't want to cut the background, so I'm going to remove it and select apply. Now, if I again remove the background, all of these objects are now vector. So. If I go back to my cut plot window, it's all ready to be cut here and I can send this job straight to my GR cutter. Next, we're going to take a quick look at welding. So I'm going to type some text in my document like so. Now, if I zoom in, I will see there are some areas where my text is overlapping. If I were to send this straight to my cutter now, there would be overcuts on some of these sections. Now in Flexi, we actually have two ways of handling this. The first, simply right click on your overlapping objects and select weld. And we will see the overlapping areas have been welded together. Now I'm going to undo that with Control Z to show you another cool feature that we have. So if I go into my cut plot window, and I go to my last tab, which is the advanced cutting options. 
you'll see I have this option called Auto Weld checked. This is almost a safety measure against this kind of uh, issue. Because if I have the Auto Weld checked and I have overlapping objects of the same colour, it's going to weld them automatically. So I can use text like this, script text overlapping, and I don't have to concern myself with making sure that I've welded it. Another handy feature that we have to automatically save you some time when processing your direct vinyl jobs is the weeding lines. I go to my options tab. If I select this option for a weeding border, it's going to put a weeding line around the outside of my cuttable object, like so. Now we also see there are some other options in here, such as the horizontal weeding lines and vertical weeding lines. Now you'll see these lines kind of go through your object, so these aren't going to be perfect for us in this scenario. So we're going to turn these off and we're going to use the split lines. Now when we use the split lines, we can see that it's not actually going to cut through our text, which is good because ideally we want to keep the text as a whole piece so we can transfer it and then weed out the rest. But the split lines are very, very handy in saving you time weeding jobs, especially big and detailed jobs. Thank you very much for joining us for our advanced vinyl cutting guide and please join us next time for how to prepare a contour cut job in your Roland GR software.